Mississippi. The title of my charge today is Blessed to be Close to God. Turn with me over to Psalm chapter 32. Psalm chapter 32, verse 1. Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven and whose sins are covered. You know, my simple question for us today is do you really believe that? Do you believe it? Why don't you act like it? Why don't you walk like it? Why don't you talk like it? You know, I was baptized eight years ago, and I must confess that when I came out of the waters, I didn't really truly believe it in the heart. I understood it in the head, I understood the concept, but when I came out of the waters in my heart, I didn't believe I could truly be transformed by my relationship with God. Now, two and a half years short la later, after wallowing and suffering in my sin, I decided it was time for a period of radicalization. And you know, 2019 was coined the year of boldness, so I decided it was time to be bold. You know, I embarked on a 40-day liquid fast, amen. I also said I want to be an ICCM. I read the Bible in five months, and I just told myself, listen, I need to believe on a heart level that God wants me to be close to Him. Because I know that when I'm close to Him, I will transform. But if I'm not close to him, I'll be the same person that came out of those waters and I will not make the impact that he wants me to have. You know, I think the big thing that we have to understand today is this. Some of us, we've become really good at our duties, but where is our devotion? Where's your walk with God really at? How close are you really to him? You gotta analyze it. We've become really responsible but how reverent are we really? You know, it's really easy to pay attention to our attendance on Sundays. We love to count the visitors. Hey, how many people are at Bible Talk with me? Let me ask you this. How's your attendance in your quiet time? And, I, and I listen, I'm not, talking, I'm not talking about the attendance where you roll out of bed drool dripping from your mouth, eye boogers still there, and you can't stay awake. No, no, no. I'm talking about the attendance where you're focused and fired up to learn from God. You know, some of us, we, we, uh, we love those Google Sheets, and we love staring at our membership, <laughs> hoping and praying it'll grow. Amen. We love those WhatsApp chats. How many people are on my Bible talk? All of us who stare at our membership on those Google Sheets, let me ask you this, how's your membership in heaven? Where's it really at? Are you on that list that God is making? Because I wanna encourage you and challenge you, stop looking at Google Sheets more than you look at your Bible. You know, it, it, it's actually very simple. I have two keys for you to have a close relationship with God. It worked for me and it will work for you too. You know, number one is this, in 1 Corinthians 3, there's a concept that talks about one person plants, another waters, but only God makes it grow. And oftentimes we understand that concept to seeking and saving loss. But my question is this, when is the last time you have planted fat seeds of faithfulness in your own heart? Searching the scriptures and watering those seeds so they can grow inside of you so then you can go and share them with other people. The, the reality is this, we get distracted. And what gets our focus is when we are inspired by God. Number two is this, you need to simulate suffering in your life because some of us, we just don't know what it means to suffer, especially those in the first world. This is what I know for sure. You will not leave here with a lack of desire. But my question is this, when that desire runs out, will you be committed? I love you, family. <laughs> 